take your total stickers from the previous issue and cut the two decals in half. Now, you can either use a knife or you can use a pair of scissors. On this part, what we need to do is we need to trim the decal, as you can see in the picture, removing any excess, being careful that we don't go too close to the line, and then take that down. Now, do this for both decals, and then we're going to apply them to the side of the wing. As you can see here, we've got the total stickers on the end plates. Repeat it for both sides, and then put the wing to the side until later. Take your stickers from issue two, and as you notice, we need to cut them out along the dotted lines. Okay, so carefully cut and trim those until we're ready to put them on the rear wing. Now, take the two total stickers and take your wing, notice the orientation, and just measure up where the sticker is going to go. Now you'll notice that the sticker will fit up to this section here. Now if there's any overhang, which you can see there, just need to slightly trim that back. Now what I would suggest is, is we do it at the dark end and then taking the decal separate it from its backing paper and then take your wing making sure you got the orientation right and then fit it into that section just gently running your finger along with the decal just to iron out any bubbles like so you can take a small toothpick just clean the area up just make sure that's down just repeat that for the other side in this stage we're going to be continuing with applying the stickers on the rear wing Take your Infinity Performance Inspired decals that we cut out earlier and separate the two because the Inspired Performance is going to go on the lower section of the wing whereas the Infinity is going to be going on the top section of the wing. So take your first sticker, separate it from the backing. and then with a pair of tweezers to hold just carefully align up on the back so it's nice and straight and then just smooth that out as you can see then repeat that with the rest of the sticker the back in, a pair of tweezers and nicely lining that up like so. So as you can see there. Now take your inspired by performance, take the first part of your sticker. Remove the backing. And apply that up to the back of this centre rib. Once again, smoothing the sticker out. 
and then applying the final part of the decal. Like so. And there we have it.